Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris from Dream Media. Got a brain episode for today. We have a prospective customer here that has invited us out to his brand new construction. Um, so this is a brand new house. We're gonna go in there and check out a couple of different things. It's never too early to get your home theater company involved. So it doesn't matter if, if you know you, you've had an existing house or you're just building a house and you want some ideas on where to put things or just some general ideas, whatever. Give us a call. We have that free design service. But we're gonna go in we're gonna go in here and check out his home theater and we'll do it right after the intro. Well, let's get going. Sorry for the mess. He said he didn't have time to clean up. <laughs> if he would have knew we were coming, he would have tidied up the place. Hey, so this is the room. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really cool. So we're coming back into this area over here, and this is the space. This is, what does he say, 14 by 18? 14 by 18. 14 by 18 and 10 foot ceilings. Is, is pretty substantial for home theater. So there aren't any, there aren't gonna be any windows in here. So ambient light isn't gonna be the biggest concern. What we are having uh, an issue with is I've already talked to the customer about this, is we have a quadruple stud here, load bearing obviously. You don't want to etch that out if, if, if you can help it. So he wanted to do in walls, which is nice because we can do them here and here but then I've talked to him already. Since this is a 10 foot wall, like I'm not sure if you can see the scale of this, but since this is a 10 foot wall and he wants to go with a 150 inch screen, he has the ability to go up um, a little higher in the room so we can actually fit the center speaker in there. So with this space, he wanted to do all in, in walls. He checked out another uh, big box store and they gave him an astronomical um, estimate. So he reached out to us and now I'm in his house throwing some ideas at him. Just so far, let me go ahead and hand you the mic, but just so far, what do you think of what we've discussed? Uh, you guys are great, uh, good ideas. Uh, well, you're knowledgeable for one. Uh, just, I like, you're straight to the point and tell me what's up and what I can do and what I can't do. Yeah, and, and, and that's where, and that's where we'll, we'll, we'll shoot you guys straight. If, if something is, isn't a good idea, um, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely voice that opinion to you and then let you make the best decision possible. Like we were talking about, he has this slope ceiling in here, um, so that is gonna be a consideration for Atmos. So what I recommended is if you're gonna be sitting here, if you have a slope ceiling like this, you're probably gonna wanna kick that speaker out just a little further to make it perpendicular to where it's gonna like, uh, radiate directly into your ears at your main listening position. At the same point, this is gonna be flat, so you're gonna have a difference in elevation with those you know, uh, in, in ceiling speakers. So that makes a difference too. So he wanted to do a couple different rows of seating in here. We have the first row flush with the, the threshold of the door and then possibly he wanted to do either a wet bar or maybe another row of seating back here. So even then we talked about if you did wanna go with the 7.1.4 that if you were gonna be putting a speaker right through here, you'd probably wanna have something that has a wide dispersion array so that even the person that is in this row, they'll still be able to appreciate the, the full level of sound throughout the, throughout the entire space. And then in consideration, obviously there's no uh, drywall up or anything yet, so it's nice and easy to dictate where the, the lines are gonna be dropped, as well as discuss with the customer uh, different ideas with design and also sound treatments. So lots of different things to discuss here. Not really a whole lot to see per se, but we're, uh, we're, we're, we will update you as this job gets completed. We're looking at roughly mid-February for, uh, for move-in, and then he will come in here, get the itch, and then reach out to us, get the gear in the house, and then we'll start the install as well. But we're really excited about the whole design aspect behind this one. Looks like we have some column, columns over here built out already. Probably have some nice wall sconces and whatnot. This is a uh, kind of a boutique house that you, that you go through your design, um, your design phase with a team and it's, it's really, really cool sitting there at picking out every single thing. It's kind of like uh, reg registering to, to get married. Like it's, it's really, really cool to just to make all your dreams come true, <laughs> like have like the best case scenario. So that's it. We will update you as this job gets completed and uh, big thanks to the customer for reaching out to us. This is what we do. Um, it, I, I, was, I wasn't too far off from where he's, he lives, so it was easy for me to punch in. But if you guys would like us to do something like this, we can jump on a Zoom call, a FaceTime and whatnot, and do this type of service for you as well. 
Besides that, make sure you reach out because we have the lowest prices guaranteed, nationwide free shipping. That's all I got for you guys. Catch you next time. Well, all right, looks like we're gonna do a quick walkthrough of our customer's brand new house, even though, um, you know, there's no drywall it's up in, yet. In the process. <laughs> this, this is a work dining in progress room. for sure. So we're in the dining room. These are two guests by the back in corners here. Cool. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna plop back in here once the house is nice and finished and then give you a grand tour. Butler's pantry. Some of my gear will be in there. Yeah, so we're, we're discussing possibly putting that as a home run for his termination point for his home theater back there. But uh, nothing's in stone yet, so just floating some ideas to see what him and his builder would, uh, would like to do. This looks like the great room. This is the great room. This would be the kitchen on the side. Okay, 20-foot ceiling. Yeah, this uh, is huge. <laughs> beams going across. Not cabinets to the ceiling, but cabinets pretty high up. Glass doors, all that good stuff. Island. Hopefully a nice stove. For sure a nice stove. I put in a pot filler. Oh, cool. It was going to go, yeah. That was a big decision. I've always wanted one of those. Yeah, right? <laughs> Who doesn't want a pot filler? So we have pot filler coming in. This is the nook. Master bedroom over here. Bathroom. Closet, yeah, I like whenever these builders do it like this. You kind of have your master off in the, the back left of the property, and then it spans this entire area. You know, you have your bathroom right back here as well, and this is massive. Check that out. Pretty big. Good stuff, good stuff. Backyard, run, half acre so of mowable grass, which is what I like to do, cut grass. Yeah, we're, 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 we're in the midst of a YouTube star here, guys. Yeah. Go ahead, and oh, drop, go, go ahead and drop your channel. I'll leave it in the description. I mow low. There you go. And then, uh, anyway, yeah, so in the back corner, I'm going to put a putting green, a sizable pool here to the left. Uh, the other side of the house? I don't know. It's like 20,000 square feet of lot, turf. Lot yeah. size? <laughs> no, the lot's 27. Oh. So I'm figuring the house takes up that. Yeah, that's a decent amount of turf. And then, uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. I got a, a garage because I have all my lawnmowers for my channel <laughs> uh, got that youtube money <laughs> yeah yeah it's coming but it's a drive through so i got roll-ups on both sides of the garage. oh cool i'm gonna put a concrete pad here a little shed and then just go for it man man this place is for sure gonna be rad whenever it's done well, cool. So it looks like you have another story up top. Obviously, we can't go up there. There's no stairs, but uh, yeah. I think we have the general gist yeah. of what's going on back here. That's it. Come, come see me in February. Yeah. So we're gonna we're we will pop back here in February, show the completed house as well as start on the theater. But that is all we have for you today. Wanted to show you know some some things you don't necessarily get to see too often you know, on, on the channel. So it's, it's cool to break out from the norm and just really go for it. Get the opportunity if you, if you do have the ability to shoot something. And we have the theater coming in here shortly. That's all we got, guys. Make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Catch you next time.